Hi, and welcome to this demonstration of uh, how to do simple linear regression and multiple regression in sigma plots. In this demonstration, I actually found an article online from the St. Leo University in Florida, where they had some data on the housing pricing and did an uh, article about how to do simple linear and multiple regression with Excel. So I will actually be using the same data as uh, this one and hopefully you will see how much easier this is to do with SingaPot and how more options you have uh, to customize both the graph and all the statistical reports uh, values you get out of this. So to start off, uh, I will close down my sigma plot. We'll start anew. The uh, first thing is that I want this data uh, transferred to my sigma plot worksheet. And actually, I, I couldn't find any way to download this data file, so I have to um, find another way to to transfer it. Uh, you could, of course, uh, enter it manually into sigma plot worksheet. But I will be using uh, FindReader, uh, our PDF management uh, software. And this software has many tools, but one of them is a screenshot reader. So I will open this. You probably find other free uh, screen capture tools out there. Uh, what's neat about this is that you can choose the format. So, for instance, I've been using Snagit a lot for grabbing texts online from images and scanned documents. Uh, but it's not good for table, data table data. But FindReader PDF has this. Uh, I can choose Table to Microsoft Excel here. Then I open the article and show the data. So, if I just click this button here and select the data and then click the capture hopefully excel will open with my data so i don't have to use a lot of time to enter this manually to transfer this to sigma plot i could either just copy and, uh, and paste so Control c and then start sigma plot let's do that In this case, it's probably uh, best to to just um, copy and paste. There's not much data here, but of course, if you have thousands or millions of uh, data points, um, we can use. I can show you the other method also. So, Control V, uh, see, to paste in the data like this. And please note, as you can see, the data contain headers or column titles and these when I pasted in copy pasted them into sigma plot these are not in the col column titles so of course I could write them and then delete this uh, but there is a feature for this in uh, in sigma plot so if I go to worksheet and then click this titles we have a feature here to promote rows to column titles. So you can see already it's chosen promote row one to titles. So I just, and delete. So I just click this and close. And as you can see, I have transferred the first row to the column titles. So then this will make it much easier if I want this as a legend in my graphs later on or, or stuff. So, so that's the quickest way for if you, uh, this kind of data, uh, and sorry, but if there were thousands of rows of data here, I could also simply just save it. Um, like this, close, and then open my SIMA plot. Uh, and click the sigma plot button, uh, file import, file import. 
go to I will navigate to their folder and it's download here select the data file and open and I go select this and as you can see when I do this file import the uh, the other row um, automatically becomes the column titles in my SEMA plot worksheets so okay then I have my data first thing is probably to to graph this to visualize the the data to see what it is and to get a better feel of the data and of course simplot is made for this so I can, can do some quick plots here I just do a scatter plot and I will also include the regression line xy pair and for x I can choose the square footage and then price as the y and finish and sigma plot will create the plot with the regression line I can do this once more and this time x y pair I can choose h for the independent variable x and price uh, as the dependent variable and as you can see now we have two graphs stacked on top of each other but if I right click the graph page layouts and for this I'm going to choose 2 up 3.5 by 3.5 landscape apply and close and then we have the two graphs nicely stacked besides each other and the same plot is easy to customize these add colors uh, change titles for this so square just double click uh, the object or element you want to change footage yes price i can just change this and this title page price. there you go you can move this around also as so i click and click hold and drag it a little bit below here like this so as you can see, the regression line, is, it seems like we have some correlation here uh, between the data and actually for both, for both square footage as independent variable and h as independent variable. But that's what we're going to find out in this uh, demonstration. And actually here we have three independent variables. We have the host, as a dependent variable, we have the host price. Uh, and the three independent variables is square footage, uh, the number of bedrooms, and the age of the house. So, of course, it's nice to just graph them, have a look, and visualize the data and see. Uh, but CMAPLUS also has a subset uh, regression test we can do uh, with this quickly. So, if I click the analysis uh, menu ribbon, and then either I can go down here and choose where is the best subset regression or you can go click the tests and regression and then if I click, oh sorry so test and regression and best subset both ways works so here we are to choose the dependent variable y so either I can choose it from here, from the drop-down menu, or you can just click the top of the column you want. And then is the independent variables. So I just click square footage, bedrooms, and age. And then click the finish button to get the statistical report for this. And as you can see here, we have the three independent variables, A, B, and C. And if we are to use only one variable, the simple linear regression model. Uh, single plot tells us that the variable with the, with the best R squared value, the highest, is the C variable, the H of the house. If we are to choose two variables, uh, it's the A and C, so it's the square footage and the H. 
and all three of course is all these independent variables but if you look at the r squared value here you see that it's exactly the same uh, for two and three but actually the adjusted r squared is a little bit higher for two variables so that's what i would choose as a model if i was to choose whatever variables or how many variables i wanted from this subset but that's good to know uh, and as a first example, we can do a simple uh, linear regression. And sigma plot told us that the best variable to use was the h. So that's what I'm going to use here. And there's more ways to do this, but I will use the regression wizard. So I choose the analysis menu ribbon. And there here on top in the middle, you get the regression wizard. And sigma plot get many i think hundreds of different so as you can see and it was also nice with them if i choose peak for instance you see also a visual representation of uh, the curve uh, here on the left uh, so depending of what you choose here you see the equation the model and also a visualization so it's very easy to to see when you have looked at your data, you, you will see what model that probably would fit the best uh, from these different uh, regression models. Uh, we are going to choose a simple linear. So I choose polynomial as the equation category. And the first one here is a linear regression model. Yes, as you can see, the equation here is y equals y0 plus a times x or independent variable so i choose next and then we are to choose uh, the x so x i will choose uh, h and for r it's the price and this time i can choose it from the development menu uh, then i click uh, yeah it's an x y pair and i click next uh, and we get this only took one iteration it's not much data and probably easy for single to find uh, the best fit. But as you can see here, uh, we get the R squared value. We also get the value for the suggested value for I zero and A the slope. In the next step, we can choose what to include in our worksheet. Uh, I can just click the three we can also create a report and we can add the equation to the notebook so i'll just click next we will choose to create a new graph we can include the 90 percent 95 percent confidence and prediction bands we can extend the fit and we can also add the equation to the graph title here we we can also choose to add the curve data the, the data for the actual curve that is predicted. And yeah, it just chooses the first empty, and that's okay. So I click finish. And you can see here is the data, and we also get the graph for this with the confidence and predictions uh, bands like this. So that's how you do a simple linear regression in sigma plot by using the regression wizard. Next, we are going to do a multiple uh, regression. And the best subset regression report told us that it was the square footage and h we would choose for, for this. Those are the best in independent variables. And for doing this, we choose tests here, then choose regression, and then multiple linear here. We could, of course, also choose it from the drop down menu here. Um, like this. And then we also are guided step by step uh, choosing the correct variables. So the dependent variables is the price. For the houses and then we choose our independent variables so i will only choose square footage and h for this uh, demonstration 
Then I click uh, finish. And then we should get the statistical report for, for this. And as you can see also, we get the equation here on, on the top. Um, and since this only got two independent variables, we could do a 3D plot of this actually. So if I click the quick create result graph here while standing in my report view, we get some uh, some plots to choose from here. I will choose the 3D scatter and mesh plot. Click the OK button. And there we get the 3D plot of this. So I think it's the x-axis is the square footage and this is the H. And as you can see, uh, the best price, the highest price is when uh, the square footage is uh, high and the H is uh, low. <laughs> so that's to be expected. And please note also that you can just double click this. If that means to choose rotation, you can rotate the graph uh, and uh, change the first perspective to, to the graph. And of course, over, also there's a lot of option to change colors and, and stop them with this graph. So hopefully, you got something out of this uh, short uh, demonstration of linear um, regression and multiple linear regression in single plots. If you should have any questions, just put them in the comments below or send us an email. Okay, thanks. Have a nice day.